hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see another tutorial with Arduino so we are going to use uh, Tinkercad again so in the simulation we will be making use of Arduino and we will be seeing end-to-end uh, -end, uh, tutorial on how to use a push button so this is going to be another tutorial where you'll be able to understand how you can use a push button in our Arduino project and we'll be able to write the code and we can uh, see when we press a push button you will be able to uh, lead a light okay so uh, this will be a basic tutorial so if you have seen my previous tutorial we have done a lot of uh, uh, project on LEDs and also uh, with uh, PR sensor DC motor so this is going to be using push button okay so using this basic concept you will be able to enhance uh, for future future project okay so to start with uh, we have to add an arduino board okay so let's add an arduino then we need a breadboard Okay, so we have an Arduino and we have a breadboard. Okay, so the next step is we need to have a connections, right? So I'm going to use the ground and the 5 volt in this uh, row so we can make use of this for our other connections. Okay, so I'm going to connect the 5 volt first. I'm going to give a red color and the ground. The next is going to be ground, okay. And I'm going to give black, okay. So now if you see the 5 volt is connected over here and the ground is connected over here. Okay, now just to make use of this uh, connection, I'm going to uh, the other row also to be used for our project. I'm going to make use of this connection. So we have these rows and this row uh, which is having uh, 5 volt and ground okay which we can use for our further connections. Okay so now I'm going to use the push button over here. So I'm going to make use of a push button okay. So the push button if you know uh, by default this uh, push button is in open state. So when you press the button, it uh, closes the connection. So that means uh, when you have a connection like you have a 5 volt and ground on uh, two pins, what happens is when you press that whole circuit is getting closed. Okay, so that uh, flow of uh, uh, power or current will happen. Okay, so we are going to make use of that concept. Okay, so. Uh, in this project we are going to use uh, two pins okay one pin uh, we want to use it to read the uh, push button so when the button is pressed we need to know like uh, uh, it's pressed right and we need uh, and the other pin we are going to use one pin uh, probably 13 which we are going to use to decide when the button is pressed uh, it should uh, make that pin as a high or low so that the LED can be uh, turned on okay so uh, to start with okay i'm going to make use of a resistor first okay and i'm going to connect this pin to the ground so this is the terminal 2 from the push button okay and i'm going to connect the one of the digital pin from arduino to here So this uh, let it be green color so why I am connecting uh, a resistor this is like a pull down resistor so when uh, and I'm going to give this uh, a little bit uh, bigger value okay so it's going to be like 10 kilo ohms why means uh, you know uh, when this current flows happen uh, you know uh, since the resistor is over here you know it will not be you know uh, it will be using the lesser resistance uh, path okay for the current to be flown okay. so um, from this side i'm going to connect to the 5 volt okay so this is going to be red okay so what what currently it's happening is now there is a 5 volt coming to the push button and uh, this is going to the pin 2 okay but this will 
it is not a closed loop lab uh, as a closed loop now but if i press the button this will become a close so then uh, pin number two will be getting a uh, high current okay so this uh, resistor is to stop you know, the connection uh, or you know, the current flow should not be happening to this side okay now what we can use is we can uh, make use of an led okay okay and uh, i'm going to use a green led and uh, i'm going to have a resistor over here as well this is going to be a uh, very minimal resistor okay maybe 100 ohm okay and i'm going to use the pin 13 to the anode of the uh, led maybe blue color okay and uh, this is going to go to the okay this is going to go to the ground so now what happens is like if you give up high source or high cur uh, current over here so the led will be turned on right so the ground uh, the other cathode of the led is connected to the ground okay so the circuit diagram is completed okay so the circuit is completed so we are using the pin 2 and 13 here okay so the pin 2 will be a input or reading mode and 13 will be an output mode okay so where we can decide the uh, power current which is uh, flown to the led okay okay so we can just relook the diagram okay we have 5 volt and power used here uh, sorry the 5 volt and the ground okay and uh, we have a push button and we have a LED. now it's time to write the code okay so i'm changing it to the text one okay so if you have not used the tinkercad before you, there are different uh, right uh, you have a buttons right you can use code simulation and you have uh, the components and stuff so okay so this is the default code which we don't need okay Uh, to start uh, the pin 13 is going to be output which is okay now we can make use of the same code over here to make the pin 2 as the input okay and I also want to declare an integer to read uh, the push button okay so I would uh, call uh, this push button equal to zero for now okay 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 now in the wide loop what i'm going to do is uh, the same variable push button i'm going to use uh, digital read of the pin number two Okay, so what it happens is now this push button uh, variable will have the value based on when you're pressing the push button or not so when it's getting pressed means this uh, complete uh, uh, connection will be closed and you will have a 5 volt coming to pin number two so that means it will become high so once it's become high you can uh, give a value 13 as well, also high as to turn on the led okay so we are going to use the if statement now so this is going to be if push button equal high okay so what does this mean like push button is high we need to write so i'm going to use the digital right and that's going to be 13 comma high okay and if it's not that the case so if the push button is not high means we have to write else statement so here it's going to be 
the right is going to be low so I think that's all we need and we can put a small delay so I'll put a delay of uh, 10 second so I think that's all we need for the code as well so it's going to be push button as a variable and 13 as output and uh, pin mode 2 as input and uh, we are reading the pin number 2 into the push button variable and uh, we are checking if that is high means uh, write the, the pin number 13 also has high otherwise you know it's going to be low okay so uh, let me try to run the simulation okay okay so let's minimize the code and if you see and i'm pushing the button you are able to see the led is getting lit right so if i push it it's lit and if i leave it it's off so if you want we can change the color as well to red so you see that it's uh, much clear or uh, if you like the red LED you can use red LED okay so this is working okay so the code and uh, uh, the button is working now once uh, the circuit is also correct so this is how we can control uh, the push button and uh, LED using Arduino. So this is a simple project. Okay, so we don't have to do too much of uh, coding on or a big uh, circuit. So only thing what you need to know is like uh, how the push button works and how we are reading the push button value into the pin number two and uh, making use of that to write the pin number thirty. Okay. So I hope uh, this is informative for you. So if you have not, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would request you to subscribe, like the video, share, and comment.